So, uh, last time what we did, we added the boundaries in our model. So, today's video, I'm going to show you uh, how to put some observations point in your, your, in your model. Uh, why these uh, observations point are uh, important? It is important because uh, we want to calibrate our model and um, we want to have uh, we want to extract data from those extra, those observation point that we are going to uh, include in the model and want to match them with our actual data that is being collected from the field to see how the model is performing um, and to uh, do that we need to um, create some observation point in the in the, in the model uh, it can be uh, water level observation point and also it can be uh, a discharge observation point uh, so let's start with, with 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 adding some water level observation point in the model so to add the water level station point click on this eye uh, in your map you have all this uh, this uh, this symbols here and you click on this eye button these are for the water level observation point so let's 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 set up some observation points in our in our model. Uh, so uh, at first you have to locate where your observation stations are, uh, which you are measuring in in in, in, in your in actual field. So uh, for us, uh, we have observation point here, and we have observation point here and here also. Uh, let's have some observation point uh, also in these areas as well to see whether it's working. Let's have some uh, extra observation point for our model uh, to see whether water is flowing here as well or here. Okay. So these are the observations point that we, we have now in our model. Um, and now we want to have some observation discharges. So to do that, we have to click on this one with the uh, with the with the eye under dash. If you select on this one, you will see that and add new observation cross section. So add this one and uh, let's have some observation cross section. Let's have here and we have some observation cross section here here but we also want to see some discharge in downstream areas as well so let's have some uh, observation discharge locations okay so as you can see there uh, the observation discharge location has been selected so now we have set up the observation uh, water level location and observation discharge location. Now let's see which uh, of these areas are actually covered. To see the observation point that you have inputted, you just double click on the uh, on area in observation points and you will see all these uh, coordinates of these points and uh, and you can, you, can, you can see which coordinate it is. You can actually uh, give the uh, your original position of your actual case and uh, you can have that uh, data extracted from there and you can also see the observation cross sections here you can see these observation cross sections are also uh, when you click on the uh, click on the observation you will see that these are highlighted and so you can easily understand which of these are there and you can also give them names so that when when you when you finish uh, you can easily identify them or uh, which one you want to extract um, it also goes for these observation process you can give name here you can type name here and uh, you can say these are the cross sections that uh, that I want to extract data from okay uh, so we have inputted the observation point and observation cross section um, Now uh, let us have some roughness 
because it is our calibration parameter the roughness uh, coefficient is the uh, calibration parameter for our model for instance we have a model that uh, that is going to uh, give us some water level and discharge data but uh, initially normally what uh, what a model do is uh, it gives us some discharge or water level based on its, uh, its 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 uniform roughness or whatever roughness you have given in input in, in, in your in your model and then you you match your uh, your discharge and water level data with the observed discharge and water level uh, to see how the model is matching and then you you uh, calibrate uh, you just uh, 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 calibrate your, your your roughness parameter to have that observed discharge and observed water level in uh, in the in the actual environment uh, to recreate it in your model uh, so 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 let us give some uh, roughness uh, parameter in our model and to do that uh, we have to click on the special operation here and click on roughness and you will see that uh, a new window has appeared all these windows has been uh, opened now we can select polygon here let's select polygon and uh, it's the easiest way that you, 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 you can do you just have like this this select all the okay. now set a value let's say uh, we want to select this value as 0 point uh, 0 one eight and just have override and okay and you will see that this previously it was empty because uh, there wasn't any roughness uh, that we have defined in our model but now we have defined so it's visible now uh, you can see it here um, so we have defined uh, uniform roughness for all the areas normally uh, in in practical situation it doesn't happen uh, what happens is uh, the, it has different uh, roughness coefficient uh, in different region uh, in that case what you can do is you can draw some polygon in in the in the required area uh, for instance let's say we want to change the roughness of this area in, in downstream we want to have a different roughness so let us draw a polygon Let us draw a polygon and say set a value and uh, let's say we want to give it a 0 0.01 so 0.15 let's say so you see it's already changed and you can see uh, here uh, in, in roughness tab if you click on this roughness tab uh, you will see that uh, the values that we have here is uh, ranging 0 0.015 and uh, 0 0.018 and uh, there are some buffer layer here because uh, uh, what Delft 3D does is it creates a little bit of buffer layer in between these two layers um, so this is one way of doing uh, giving roughness parameter to your model you can also what you can do is you can have uh, for instance you have uh, you know some roughness uh, parameter that in, in 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 these areas and you have those coordinates and also you have uh, uh, you have uh, data for 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 those locations uh, you can import them as xyz files uh, so you have your coordinate x and y and in z you have the roughness and you can input those values here and you can interpolate just as like as you did in your bathymetry uh, creation and that will give you a roughness map of the whole uh, area um, so this is this is actually how we how we put the roughness in Delft 3d uh, hope uh, this video was helpful um, uh, if you if you like it uh, please uh, do share like and uh, and subscribe uh, I hope to see you soon in next video where we want to uh, run our model and want to see how to extract the um, the result files from our model and also some general uh, settings uh, in the general uh, general settings of the uh, Delft 3D Delft 3D uh, modeling system. Uh, okay, uh, thank you for for watching this video. Bye.